What's up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Yo, it is time for S1E3 of I'm Alan Partridge. The title of this episode is Watership Alan. I'm assuming that's a play on Watership Down. So let's... I'm interested. I am yeah. interested. I've absolutely fallen in love with this show. You were saying right before we came on that he's like the pre-Carl Pilkington. Yeah, yeah, I just he has he has a lot. That last scene of the last episode, it just reminded me of something Carl would do. Yeah, fire someone on air <laughs> and talk about how they experimented with chocolate mousse in bed. Oh my god. I just uh, I, I don't know why, man. I absolutely love Carl. Love this. And it's just, it's perfect. it's perfect. I think Alan Partridge is definitely in the rotation of our best characters. Yes, 100%. But before we go in, <sighs> if you're new here, we're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Daniel. And I'm Spencer. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also... Become part of the community, guys, not just the channel. Big difference. Heck, ready to go in? Let's do it. All right, three, two, one. Then we bring the cows in. Get them milk boy XAM. So all You're listening to on. This Morning's Farmer. Go on, you were talking about cow bringing in. We bring them in from milking, and then all that can go. Pop the straight jackets on them. What? Thanks very much for being This Morning's Farmer, Robert Moon. <laughs> Robert, uh, did you have your breakfast this morning? Well, I, I reckon the way things are. Can you just answer I... yes for the purposes of a joke? <laughs> yes. In which case, you must be a full moon. What? <laughs> Hello? That was terrible. I'm still here. Was uh, making a pun on your name. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for being this morning's <laughs> farmer. Robert, a bit slow on the uptake there. Uh, don't know what he had for breakfast. Presumably an infected spinal column in a bat. <laughs> there about how infected cattle feed can attack the central nervous system. It's just come up to 5:35 a.m. Kommen Sie bitte und listen to craft work. It's so awkward. I love that. What the he. Like I'm, I'm serious. If there is a radio show out there, or even a podcast remotely like this, I am subscribing a million times. <laughs> what if we tried to make our podcast like Holy that? Holy crap, man! All we need is a sounding board and a Google number, and we can have call-ins. That would yeah. be glorious. Maybe that'll be something we do later on. <laughs> yes, and it'll make for some damn good content. Oh hell yes! Oh my god. Let's get back to cockadoodle who I asked who invented the skip. Jack on line two. Good morning, Alan. Good uh, morning. Look, I just wanted to say uh, your comments earlier about farmers was ignorant and offensive. Who invented the skip? I don't care who invented the skip. I think it's way out who of Who invented the skip? You, you speak like a man who has no who knowledge invented of the, the skip? subject that you're talking about. Who invented right? the skip? I don't know about the bloody skip, Bobby Moore. I don't bloody know, do I? I'm just sick and tired of you slagging farmers off. Are you going to apologise to them all on your show? Are you going to Come on, I must know some of the rotten rubbish you produce. I mean, tongue, for example. Who eats tongue, for goodness sake? Imagine a tongue sticking out of a sesame seed cob. Listen, you made these comments without any real knowledge about the pressures that we're under. I just didn't find it very funny, that's all. Well, I wouldn't eat one of your tomatoes if it came up and said, eat me, oh. which is not unlikely, Listen. considering all the rubbish you stick in them. You ignorant shit. It sounds like people in our comment section that comment something that's completely unrelated to the yeah. video that is I, being presented i love that this is like call-in troll a old forgotten tier of troll mm -hmm. enough. back when you actually had to have a personality and had to be able to talk to somebody in order to troll them instead of hiding behind a keyboard yes. looking at a lot of you where <laughs> oh man Line, line four. Hello, Alan. Hello. Hello, you got a brain or is your head just full of shit? Mike from Polgrave, are you there, sir? Oh, you ignorant c Take a pinch of white man, wrap him up in black skin. What's the next bit? Uh, add a dash of blue blood. Add a dash of blue blood. And a little bitty bit red Indian boy. And something else in Geordie. This hasn't been cleaned up for years. Hey, there's a little Japanese soldier in here still fighting the war. <laughs> a daft racist. Curly black and kinky, mixed with yellow chinky. Can you still say that? Oh, you're all right with that. It's, it's, it's a race of people and it's a food. Chinese. <laughs> Absolutely right, yeah. Partridge. Yes, I'll hold. I possibly up for presenting a Hamilton's water break video. Ooh. You know, the Norfolk Broads. Hi. I'll tell you how I found out about this job. Uh, Bill Oddy. Was, sorry. Uh, hello? <laughs> yes. Well, no, the, the last corporate job I did was for a company that makes toner for photocopiers. 
No, no, I was dressed as an exclamation mark. <laughs> well, no, I, I walked out after five minutes. It was demeaning. I had to flag a cab dressed up, which, which helped, actually. Yeah. Well, I'd be delighted to do the job. Well, and hang on, you can't book me and ask me to pull out when Cliff Thorburn becomes available again. <laughs> well, no, look, you've got a choice. You can either book me now or wait for Cliff Thorburn. But if Cliff Thorburn goes AWOL, you're up slack alley. Now, who's it to be, me or Cliff Thorburn? Thank you very much indeed. Kiss my face. Wait. I am going to present a corporate video for Hamilton's Water Breaks. Champion. Why, it sounds jolly, doesn't it? Why, Come into the Far East, Michael. Oh, well, uh, only uh, Manila, Hong Kong and Bangkok, like. Bangkok? Aye. So what did you say in Bangkok? Oh, I saw the Golden Temple, man. Beautiful it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, well, there's a, there's a river market, right? All the little boats come up and they've got all the Michael, fresh Michael, produce Michael, on Michael. Come on, tell me about the lady boys. <laughs> oh, you mean them transsexuals? I've I seen them, but, you know, disgusting. I kept away from them. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Creatures, though. <laughs> Look, looks like a lady, but uh, really it's a man. <laughs> I don't find them attractive. It's just Ooh. confusing. I suppose you've uh, got any army stories about them. <laughs> I, mean, I, I did hear about this corporal, right? And he's in the 3rd Battalion, this lad. But he's right mean. Oh, guns out in Bangkok, right? And all the prostitutes is coming up and saying how much. And he's going, oh, I'm not paying that, right? Uh, and then this beautiful lassie comes up. She's gorgeous, man. Uh, and she's half the price of the others. And they're getting doodling. He puts his hand up her skirt, gets a hold of the old meat and two veg, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Thinks, Hang on, I've paid me money. I'm going to have some of it. So he flips him over and he... F and, and funnily enough, it lands on its wheels and it starts first time and they just drive away. Good save. <laughs> that Good was a great save. save. Oh, God. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen anything that can't be made in 2023 and 2024. Yeah. In a minute. Yeah. Strangest story I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, hello, Len. Oh, I see what you are. Oh, right, yes. Michael was just telling me an army story about a friend of his who slept with a Land Rover. <laughs> Lonely nights in the desert. Uh, like that, that's all fixed now, Mr. Patterson. I'll be on my way. Right, OK. Well, then, uh, just, just check. That wasn't the real ending to the story, was it? Just a few things, Alan. What? We've had a call from Norwich Radio. There have been more complaints from farmers about well, what you've said. Right. How many? Fifty. Oh, your age. Well, Hamilton's of... Alan, you've uh, come free at the side. Oh, anyway, um, I got the Hamilton's job. Yes, I've been speaking to them. They're coming over this afternoon. Right. They say that you have to have your wife on the shoot. Oh, Lynn, did you tell them that my wife has left me and she's living with a narcissistic sports pimp? You popped out again. Oh, that, that wasn't deliberate. It's not a cry for help. I've had these shorts since... His entire existence is a cry for help. Yeah, but you said it best right there, Spence. Existence <laughs> is a cry for help. Mm. Oh, God. He, he looks like he's 16, yet he has the voice of a 50-year-old who's been smoking, and it's, it's just a mess. Yeah, he's, total mess. He's just, just a mess, dude. But he's our mess. Yeah, <sighs> shorts too. Like, yeah. blind. no one. Is it a thing? I noticed something. What? Is it a thing? Like doing exercise or whatever. What? Or sorry, was it a thing to have a collared shirt? That <laughs> one thing has irked me since I saw it. Like peep show when Mark is running with his collared shirt and now yeah. him I'm like was that a thing yeah because that it, is mad uncomfortable dude yeah and i also know remember douglas uh it crowd when he was running was in a uh, collared uh interesting anyway just yeah. an odd pickup yeah it's 1982 <laughs> they did have uh, an underpant lining but uh it's perished yeah, yeah. Taken a bit of a pounding over the years. In fact, can you get me some new ones, please? I'm going to have to ring Carol and ask if she'll uh, do the corporate video. Let me talk. He's oh. Hello. Yes, he is. It's a man. Oh, that's a, that's a boyfriend. Oh. Hello? Yeah, Ellen. Your lover's husband. <laughs> yeah. Immersion heater. It's, it's beneath the stairs. You really need to press that if you're having a deep bath. Well, put it on an hour before. Bob's your uncle. You've, you've got a deep bath. <laughs> yeah, well, if you would, please, yes. Let's get Carol. You speak to her. You speak to Hello, her. Carol. How are you? Oh, uh, Carol, would you like to be in Alan's corporate video? Right? She says no and she wants to speak to you. So, tell her I'm not here. He's not here. She says she can hear your voice. Um, call her a fat cow, then hang up. Fat cow. Well done, Lynn. Now, before we get up, I'm just going to warn you, I have popped out again. <laughs> I'm no way connected with our proximity. So just don't turn round. Right, the boys are back in the barracks. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not going to rewind it again because I don't want to see it, but I feel like there was something...
popping out there. I don't, I don't know. I don't put it past this show at all. It's in fact, it's actually more of a given. Yeah. No matter of when. That the testes are out. Yep. Yeah. I always think about the stepbrother scene. Did you touch my drum set? <laughs> T-back no. your drum set. <laughs> T-back it. Why are you all sweaty? I was watching <sighs> cops. What we need is a great big melting pot. Big enough to take the world and all it's got. Keep it turning. I could pretend to be your wife. <laughs> Stinking. Morning. Hello, Alan. Finn's a good worker, but she's a bit like Burt Reynolds. Very reliable, but uh, she's a moustache. A bit like uh, lady boys. Look like uh, a woman, but really it's a man. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't find them attractive, it's just confusing. <sighs> hey, Sophie, you're, you're not a man, are you? No. Right. Would you settle this month's <laughs> bill, please? Eight pounds mis miscellaneous services. That sounds disconcertingly vague. You used this pay channel? Ah! Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> I find the pay channels very confusing. Can I just explain? I was trying to access Driving Miss Daisy. Oh, yeah. and that's why you only watched it for 15 minutes. Yes, yeah, because, because it was the wrong film. Uh, have, have you seen it? Is it good? What, Driving Miss Daisy or Bangkok Chick Boys? <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy. Is it a good film? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Was Bangkok Chick Boys good? I don't know. I didn't see it. I couldn't see it because I was in the bathroom. Oh, well, Ben, Mr Partridge was just saying that he couldn't see Bangkok Chick Boys from his bathroom. Well, you can angle the mirror by the door. No, I only watched it for five minutes. It's, it's, the remote control's confusing. Oh, what you will have done is, when it flashed up on your screen, do you want to watch Bangkok Chick Boys, you must have pressed the button that says yes. <laughs> yeah, well, as I say, it's very confusing. Do you want me to come up and show you how to press the button that says no? <laughs> yeah, I want you to show me the button that says no. Oh, no, I'll show you that mirror thing. No. <laughs> um, do, do you want me to settle this bill? Uh, no. I mean, yes. Right, it is confusing, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Look, man, in the days before that kind of stuff was readily available, that was what you had. You got, that's why those, the bills were like, what? Wait a minute, what? Like, oh, damn. I remember, like, one of these random reels that have Reddit stories on it of, it was telling the story of this person who, would, when they were a teenager and lived with their parents, and they were all accessing the naughty channels for where you had to have a premium that would it would be added to your cable bill and it went on for like months and one day they were all sitting in silence at dinner because not only the teenagers were using it the adults were using it and they wanted to claim the charge the dad just out of the blue said it ends now i love that <laughs> and it did oh my god i absolutely mm. love that that's mm. the way to do it yeah plausible deniability Exactly. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Partridge. Drink. Uh, have you any tonic water? Aye. With, uh, some ice and a uh, segment of lemon. Uh, would you top it up with some Gordon's gin? Gin and tonic. Yeah, that's fine. Feeling supersonic. The gentlemen from the corporate video are on their way. Excellent. Well, I've done my homework. Yeah. Would you like a drink? Oh, thank you. Well, I'll have a Baileys. One small Baileys, please. <laughs> Lynn, I, I was thinking about getting a substitute wife, and I would really love you to go down to Soul Dangerfield's casting agency and tell them to get me a 40-year-old scorcher. And, and do use that word. Uh, are you Alan Partridge? Yes. Hi, I'm Steve Bennett. I'm the director of the oh, Hamilton's uh, Waterfront. Right, we video. spoke on the phone. Yeah, yes. he's, uh, he's the marketing director for Hamilton's. He's going to be coming along with us sort of well, Make sure I don't sink the boat and drown everyone like a big twit. <laughs> I'll be down the pub, probably. I'll be down the pub getting the beers in. <laughs> Wait, what, speaking like that? Oh, it's a voice box. It sounds great fun. Where'd you get those at a toy shop? I haven't got any vocal cords. Sound like the girl in The Exorcist. I've got to say, I love the script. It's superb. Um, there's a lovely phrase in it where it says, boating appeals to both friends and family alike. Lovely phrase, very simple, very moving. Yeah, uh, this is a, there's a boat video. You know, like in a James Bond movie. Yeah. Interesting. You sound like a, a baddie in a James Bond film. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor No. Vocal cords. Is that Stein? Is uh, that? No. There's no way. Who are you? Is that, is that Simon Pegg? This is too old, right? I was in the 90s, I believe, but let's do a quick search. Simon Pegg. I'm no Alan way. Partridge. Oh, I have my Wi-Fi turned off. Oh. Let me try the search again. There's no. 
He was Simon Pegg. Yes. Mailed yes. it. God, this guy never ages? The fuck? No, I guess not. That is him. Good out. I didn't see that before. I'm going to keep it simple. <laughs> uh, and that, that we hired you. You're, you're a local fella. You know, it's good uh, communications with, with tradesmen, with landlords, with farmers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, you know, are open and we'll be in there getting pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Michael, do you want to pop that in the bin? I Just some uh, oats I made last night for a laugh. <laughs> I was drunk. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I woke up this morning asleep on the sink, just like this. Been asleep for eight hours, like that. Got up, walked downstairs, straight downstairs, had breakfast, didn't even wash my hands, because I'm a bloody bloke. Hey. <laughs> There's the bar, gentlemen, choose your weapons. What? what? I'm, I'm offering you a drink. Oh, oh right. now you're talking my language. Well, I hope not. Three <laughs> parties, yeah. Drinks of lager, right? You. The lager and these two drinks here. God. Yes, th these are the chasers. Have you ever met someone that had a voice box? Um, no. Uh, commercials were enough. Yeah, I, I've only encountered one person that had a voice box, and it was me and a couple of cousins of mine. We were having dinner, lunch at a uh, Bojangles, and I guess it was an older gentleman with his caretaker, and y you could, all of a sudden, you heard that voice. I won't re replicate it, but I heard it, and, and I just had to, Pipe my tongue for a little bit. Yep. Yeah, because it's by surprise. Yeah, it does. should by surprise for damn sure. Mm -hmm. God. We never had uh, a lager and, and gin and tonic and Bailey's Irish cream chaser. No. Yeah, Bell's bras. I got a name that drink. Yeah, it's called uh, Lady Boys. Because gin and tonic and Bailey's are like a ladies' drink, lager's a boys' drink. That's why I said that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lady Boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three, well, four ladies. Lady boys, right? How much is that? Uh, that'll be uh, thirty-three pound. Well, here's to a, a good corporate video and um, lots of being men. D. Oh my God. I can't imagine that would be a great flavor combination: beer and Bailey's, and then a gin and tonic. Gin and tonic? It, it'd That's. Like, it'd be like uh -oh. trying to drink a Coke and a Sprite and a chocolate milk in the same time. Yeah, absolutely disgusted by that combination. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. it's dangerous enough to mix your drinks, but that's like a whole other level here. Yeah, borderline to just disgusting. Period. Yeah, yeah. giant period. Whatever. Like, oh, I don't yeah. do me wrong. Like, you use some shots of whiskey, have a beer too. That's like a normal night, right? Yeah, um, I like a liqueur. Oh, yeah, long like, in the mix, especially at Bailey's, a dairy based. Yeah, nope. no, not for me, dog. Not for me. Alan. Um, I'm confused. What time is it? Six o'clock. Uh, how long have we been drinking? Three quarters of an hour. I think I'll um, go to my room and uh, lean on the sink. I'll, I'll have a little bit of sick. Mr. Partridge, that's the kitchens. Yeah, I'm going to cook all the food. This is a hotel. Three star. Hello, Carol. It's Alan. How are you? We. I am having a fantastic time. Yeah, the best time since sliced bread. How's uh, Hester Planet of the Apes, man? Is he still driving that Renault Megane? Uh, can I just read you something from uh, Top Gear magazine? <laughs> That's what I've got here. With a mere 90 brake horsepower available, progress is too leisurely to be called fast. But on a motorway in fifth gear, the Megane's slow pace really becomes a pain. Uphill runs become power-sappingly mundane, while overtaking National Express coaches can become a long, drawn-out affair. <laughs> Not my words, Carol, the words of Top Gear magazine. Hello? My only question is, was Top Gear also a magazine? That's interesting to me. Because we, we've seen the jury, Jeremy Clarkson uh, doc about uh, is he, you know, whatnot, and I, I guess I'm drawing a blank on that part where top gear was a magazine and not just a tv show he was a writer wasn't he he was a writer so maybe i don't know maybe that was and i'm totally just forgetting that whole doc dude, that we did dude, it's all right man that we've won since that doc we've done at least 50 other videos yeah hundred so yeah hey, right man yeah all right <laughs> oh yeah Come to show you how to use your telly. Oh, that's uh, confusing. Yeah. yeah. That's Sky Movies, Sports, no, CNN, no, 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 no. Adult Channel. 
Let's see dirty movies. Yeah, not my cup of tea. Well, I can disconnect it, put a scramble on it, just lock it out of the system. Probably be a lot of trouble, won't it? Not really, it's just a uh, switch. Um... It's up to you, yeah, you're us. What you get up to in here, it's your business. I don't get up to anything. <laughs> Do you want me to disconnect it? Yes. OK. Disconnected. Good. <laughs> right, lads. Oh, all right, Alan. I got uh, very drunk last night. I was sick everywhere. Are you sick? What? Just certainly uh, first in the queue when God was handing out chests. Memory glands. Oh, I'd love to have it off with her. Oh, word. Word. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, is his middle name. Alan Awkward Partridge. Oh, my God. Mmm. Like, what? Like, get out of my table, bro. Yeah. Like, two things. One, you can't call him just Alan or Mr. Partridge. You gotta call him Alan Partridge. Yeah. The name. Yeah, Alan Partridge. Like, um, I... There's only a few people I know that require a first and second name. Yeah. And you're always Spence. Spencer. I'm not ever calling you Spencer Joyce. What's going on? Like that's right, too, right. I'm calling you Daniel Arias. No. I'm calling you Dan yeah, and yeah. the man. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just, but there's some people that, that require that for some weird reason. Yeah. You know? It's Alan Partridge. Yep. And, Alan Partridge. And second of all, the guy with the sunglasses. Wasn't that Scott Stapp? What? I swear to God, that guy looked fuck like Scott, out Scott here. Stapp. I know it isn't him, but I just like... Oh, oh. Does he not look a bit like Scott Stapp? A little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. Timu version of Scott yeah, Stapp. A, yeah, a Timu version. I need to start using that phrase instead of Wish.com. It's Timu. <laughs> the Timu version of Scott Stapp. Oh, man. <laughs> For a British holiday with a difference on a boat... Always choose Hamilton's water breaks. With the melting of the polar ice caps, most of East Anglia will be underwater in the next 30 years. So make the most of her stunning fens before the floods come, causing a little concern for these local farmers I chatted to. This is my wife and I going off to the local marketplace, where we could buy anything from plimsolls to posters of famous Hollywood stars. This chemical toilet is a Saniflo 33. Now, this little babe can cope with anything. And I later on, I put in a pound of mashed-up Dundee cake. Let's take a look. What a trace. Peace of mind, I'm sure. Especially if you have elderly relatives on board. Try pedestrianising this. OK, can you hold that pose now, Alan? How are your, uh, how's your friends? Fine. It might look a bit pokey from the outside, but a Hamilton's boat is deceptively large. My wife and I found it actually offers the kind of luxury and comfort you'd normally associate with a good quality yeah. static caravan. You don't have any bacon? No, I'm vegetarian. Yes. <laughs> no, just a joke. I'm joined by Alice, who's not... Uh, this is not going to plan <sighs> at all. All the angry farmers, his actor of a wife uh hey, hey you know what man um i would watch this commercial i yeah. would watch it <laughs> i would die laughing it was a great commercial great commercial yeah. clearly I, if you want to get away from farmers hit the water yeah yeah i would buy whatever he's selling i, yeah. I think it's you know, boats so. i think so or I'd toilets buy one. i'm still confused yeah not going to shrink me into a little bottle. She's going to tell me about Hamilton's holiday breaks. You regularly book, don't you? Yeah. And do you do that with your boyfriend? or? No, I do it alone. But you book alone? Yep. How old are you? 25. Hmm. But what do you do on a boat alone? Read a book, relax, look at the scenery. No, she sounds weird. <laughs> <Can't use that. laughs> Sorry, th thank you, love. Thank you. That's a bit, a bit odd. Yeah. Up with the Partridge. You're joining me, Alan Partridge, and Peter Baxendale Thomas of the Norfolk Farmers Union. Uh, now, yesterday, oh I uh, sort of trod in a rather large farmer's pat when I made some comments about um, intensive farming. Where did I go wrong? Well, I think your comments were 
ill-founded, they were deeply ignorant, they showed a complete lack of understanding of modern agricultural methods, and simply served to highlight the sort of intense stupidity that farmers encounter from armchair pundits who forget to think before they open their mouth. But with a full and frank apology that you're about to give this morning, I'm sure you can dig yourself out of this rather ugly hole. Yeah. Um... Sorry. Um, do you, have you got any, do you, any requests? Anyone you want to say hello to? Or? Look, I'm just trying to say that when you make ignorant comments like you did yeah. the other day, you serve simply to alarm the public and to inflame the farmers, which is exactly what you've done. Why don't you just apologise and make it nice mm. and simple? <laughs> <laughs> thought that had, uh, thought that had you. Right. You, you, could, uh, you could talk the hind legs off a donkey. Um, but your donkeys are probably born without hind legs because of all, <laughs> all the chemicals you, you, you put in their uh, chips. Ellen, I don't have donkeys, and even if I did, I wouldn't feed them chips. This is exactly the sort of rubbish you came up with the other day when you talked about putting a spine in a bap. I, I, I admit that, that, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have said bap. Well, good. Well, that's a start. Well, no, I, and I, I should have said baguette, because, <laughs> because a spinal column would fit listen, in a baguette. Listen, you've upset half the farmers in this community. You seem to alienate everybody you come across, including, I gather, your wife, which is why you end up living like some bloody tramp in a lay-by. It's a travel tavern. I don't care what you call your sordid little grief hole. It makes no difference to me. The fact is that an awful lot of my colleagues... Yeah, farmyard animals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about my friends. Yeah, I, 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 I've community. probably got more friends than you've got cows. How, how many, this how is many, ridiculous. How many cows have you got? I've got a hundred cows. Yeah, I've got a hundred and four friends. <laughs> I don't see what this is going to gain you. Why don't you just issue a frank and full retraction of what you said and you get yourself out of yeah. a lot of silly bother? Yeah, you are a big posh sod with plums in your mouth. <laughs> and, and I don't think it's got anything to do with And class, the plums have mutated and I've got beaks. Beaks? Yes, beaks. Have you got any more of this or do you want to stop at quacking plums? No, no. You, you, make, you make pigs smoke. <laughs> I want to know where you think you earn the right to go swanning off Swan. on these ludicrous... Ah, swans! 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 You, you feed beef burgers to swans. Do I? Yes, you do. All right, well, perhaps you can tell me what's wrong with feeding beef burgers to swans. Oh, what? Well, if you fill a swan's stomach up with beef burgers, it's full of fat, it'll float better. That's why we do it. Really? Uh, no, you complete <laughs> cretin. I'm just contributing <laughs> to this total farce. What else are you going to accuse me of? I'll tell you what. what? You, you, you farmers, you, uh... Don't like outsiders, do you? Like to stick to your own. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Woo! I've seen the big eared boys on farms. Oh, for goodness sake, resort to something. If you see a lovely field with a family having a picnic and there's a nice pond in it, you fill in the pond with concrete, you plough the family into the field, you blow up the tree and use the leaves to make a dress for your wife, who's also your brother. <laughs> Have I got anything else to say? <laughs> well, listen, I'll tell you what the point is. You have big sheds that nobody's allowed in, and inside these big sheds are 20-foot-high chickens because of all the chemicals you've put in them. And these chickens are scared. They don't know why they're so big. They, they go, oh, why am I so massive? And they're looking down at all the other little chickens, and they think they're in an aeroplane because all the other chickens are so small. Do you deny that? No. Uh, his silence, I think, speaks volumes. And, and basically, do you agree that everything I've said thus far is completely correct? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you also run over badgers in your tractor for fun? Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Peter Baxendale Thomas. This is Tapau. What the fuck did we just watch? I am so... <laughs> 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 there are 20-foot-tall chickens in your shed for a minute. <laughs> like, the fuck? <laughs> uh, oh. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it blows my mind, dude. Oh. All right, I I love this man. I yeah. love this man. Like <laughs> if there was just this this whatever this is is glorious. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did it go? Oh, you know, up and down. 
Oh, more bad news, I'm afraid. The actress playing your wife can't do the filming today. Oh, why not? Well, she's got a part in the bill. She's playing a shoplifter. Mm. Well, that's quite good. Oh, well, just, we'll just have to think of something. Scene 13, take two. One of the benefits of global warming and international terrorism is that more and more people are holidaying in England. I'll drink to that. Cheers. <laughs> How was that? OK? Yeah, it's not working, you can tell. Really? <laughs> Scene 13, take three. One of the benefits of global warming and international terrorism is that, oh, <laughs> is that no, 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 no. It. action? Absolutely. The Norfolk Broads <laughs> offers the true peace and tranquility of the English countryside. A million miles from the urban decay of the Manchester Ship Canal and the pot-smoking, whore-ridden waterways of Amsterdam. Oh, God. Indeed, uh, disused cotton mills and legalised hardcore pornography <laughs> are a million miles from your thoughts as you negotiate the Norfolk Broads. In fact, the very fact that hardcore pornography is not on the agenda... It's a dead cow! Is it a dead cow? Oh, my God, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> oh my god. I that I knew something bad was going to happen then, but I thought like it was the classic, you know, the bridge is too low, they're too no. high, it get hit. Like, I was not expecting a dead cow. That no, that made my whole night, dude. Holy <laughs> crap. Don't piss off farmers. Hell Just don't no. Don't piss off farmers, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. They're where your food comes from. <laughs> don't piss them off. Don't literally do not bite the hand that feeds oh, you. God. <sighs> okay, shit. Yeah. get the cow off the boat, please. Get the cow off the boat. 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 I'm going to smell. I can feel an under on my leg. Call Cliff Thorburn now, please. Cliff Thorburn is not primarily a presenter. He is a snooker ex snooker player, and it is is an unknown quantity. Yeah, but he's not under a cow. <laughs> so book a holiday with Hamilton's. Walk away to have a good time. Cheers. Cut. OK, stick him in the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well done. Cheers, Alan. Cheers, thank you. Well Alan. Good luck with the edits. <laughs> uh. Oh, my God. Welcome to the Learning Zone, Thursday night into Friday morning on BBC Two. Oh, is that reception? Well, Susan, uh -huh. can you uh, can you make pornography come on my tally, please? <laughs> oh, well, that's very nice of you. Oh, thank you. Oh. 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 You fat. You pretty much. Oh. You can't even do the one thing that could make your night a little bit better. Oh. I just absolutely love this man. I absolutely love this guy. He is a legend. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> Alan freaking Partridge. Who knew I needed him? This is yeah. awesome. And with how short this is, we're already a quarter of the way through. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, my Man. God. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Patreon, thank you for your patronage, keeping the lights yep. on. Yep. YouTube, thanks for watching. There's somewhere around to subscribe and watch another video. 
Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and go piss some farmers off. Exactly. See you next time. Later, guys.